can go up and down precipices. <laughs> <laughs> what? I remember when I was playing this game, I was trying to the first time I was trying to explain to my dad about chocobos <clears throat> and I just Vincent. Blah. And I was talking about like this golden chocobo can go anywhere. I don't know what I was thinking. It's dumb of me. But like, this golden chocobo can go anywhere. He's like, oh, can it go up and down precipices? <laughs> That's an awfully specific. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Then only, only then will I be impressed <laughs> with this chocobo. Yeah, it can go anywhere. Really? Even precipices? <laughs> like, not precipices. <laughs> That's impossible. That's how I know you're a failure in life, son. Nothing oh, yeah. can transcend a precipice. Oh, uh, I think your father learned the word precipice that day. It was like one of those word of the day calendars, and he was like, I can use it. And he was just trying to, probably just trying to bond with the boy. <laughs> I gotta teach this kid a word. Word that he probably doesn't know with his stupid English accent. <laughs> <laughs> he, Hello, was, he was drunk at the time, I'm assuming. <laughs> Hello, father. Precipices. Oh, shit. Which I don't think even grammatically works. I don't think you can go up a precipice. I think you can go off a precipice. Up and down precipice. You can go... Th through a precipice potential. You're 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 a dumb kid. You're a dumb kid. <laughs> Can I go up and down <laughs> precipice? <laughs> Someone else found it funny too. <laughs> Precipices. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful precipices. <laughs> I was driving around the work that day thinking about I really really connected with him. I really taught him something today. Yeah. Precipice. <laughs> like you you can show me any old dumb bird that can walk on water <laughs> and <laughs> go up well mountains. But you show me a damn bird that walks on up a precipice and then you'll have my attention. Gee dad, I don't know. <laughs> It's a, it's a golden bird. Yeah, can... birds fly, birds swim. I see birds in water all the time. I see birds in the air. Show me a goddamn bird <laughs> that walks up a precipice. Is it, look, Dad. Uh, look, here it is. No! It. No! no! That's bullshit! Is, they don't is, do that! This is devil work. <laughs> <laughs> That's what a precipice is. <laughs> that, well, I... I now we've we you learned a word today. <laughs> See when you watch Tall and Smug, you get the whole Like I I've never heard whole layout. A, I, I've never heard a precipice used in that way. I never heard someone ever going up a precipice. He just <laughs> I just think he was just... I don't know why he was so obsessed with precipices. <laughs> I had to do with his childhood, I'm sure. <laughs> Precipice nearly killed my father. <laughs> I hunted down that precipice. <laughs> I climbed both up and down it. Mined the shit out of that precipice <laughs> out of all of its valuable ores. I'll be, we'll be haunting this family none time soon. I'd be a little bit more impressed with my dad if that actually happened. <laughs> wow, dad, that's pretty... pretty impressive. I mean, just whistling Dixie. <laughs> Should've seen the size of that precipice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not gonna even be able to use the word precipice <laughs> anymore. <laughs> I know, I'm at the precipice of quitting drinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is serious. <laughs> There's a chunk of going up you, I guess. Well, no point in quitting drinking now, I guess. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Precipice. What's up, dude? <laughs> that just tickles me. <laughs> uh, oops. Uh, I think it was just more his... Like, he just picked this word. You know, he did that a lot. Like, just picked a <laughs> random word, and we'd make fun of him, and then he'd yell at us. <laughs> like what? You have another example? I, I, I actually, I have a really good example. Where, uh, <laughs> we had, uh... Now, this is one Christmas. My brother was down. I remember that. And, um... Now, we had a... A dartboard. But, uh... But, like, he also got an electronic one. Okay. So we had a hard time getting the electronic darts out of there because of the way they were doing it. So my dad <laughs> was talking about, uh, is like, how to do it with leverage and everything. He's like, you put your your your, thermo your, uh, your hand on here, and you, you move it, you know, there, you use it. It's like a fulcrum. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this was going to end in fulcrum. <laughs> it was like a fulcrum. And we were laughing, so I was like, that's what's fucking called a fulcrum. <laughs> The principle of a full <laughs> Like, I can understand using the term fulcrum to, to describe maybe like a teeter totter, yeah. or maybe even some kind of more complex, uh, Object. I I don't think you. I think fulcrum is maybe a little bit verbose. Yeah. <laughs> and telling your kids how to get darts out of a dartboard. <laughs> a fulcrum. That's the principle behind it. You grab it with at least thirteen <laughs> newtons of force, and then use your index finger as a fulcrum. A what? A fulcrum. You little shit. What the hell? What's wrong with you? Then bend. At a 45 degree angle. 45 degree, yeah. <laughs> Again, let's write oh, this I got down. It. I got it. I just had to pull. Did you use your fingers as a fulcrum? I, I guess, maybe? And I, my job as a father <laughs> is done. <laughs> <laughs>